Yeah? You start with a secure party creditor program. You then move and you create a private trust. You don't register anything to the state. You record it within your private trust. You control it, but you don't own it. The Rockefellers were pretty smart at that and still are. You then recoup everything you've created. Remember, you're the creditor. You're creating securities. Your payments, your credit, your loans, your mortgages. You are creating all of that credit as the creditor with dominion over the earth, a share of the earth. The creditors don't pay taxes to the debtors. Your straw man is a debtor. Every corporation that you are engaging with through your straw man is also a debtor, all in bankruptcy. But the creditor isn't bankrupt. You, the sentient you, is not bankrupt. And you've abandoned all of these securities. You created them, the banks converted them, it looked like it was money, there is no money, it's just ledgers. And then you walked away. If you come to my live presentation, there's a guy called Gene Keating. I love his work. I, love, <laughs> I like some of the things he says. Um, you walk down the sidewalk, because he's an American, with a suitcase full of dollars. And you drop them on the sidewalk and you carry on walking. And that's what you did when you made payments. You created credit for your loans, your credit cards and your mortgages. You, you walked along the sidewalk with a suitcase full of dollars or pounds or euros, whichever currency you like to refer to, and you dropped it on the pavement and you walked on. And yet you have absolute every right to recoup those securities because you created them and they belong to you. So that's the biggest step, isn't it? Because you can become a secure party creditor and have a private trust, but if you can't recoup what you've created, you're not going to get financial abundance. So that third step is the biggest step, to recoup what you've already created. And then the next step is to create new. Does everybody know how to create new, uh, new currency? Would you like me to explain it? Okay. When you make a payment, when you sign a mortgage contract or a credit card or a loan contract, the real you, the sentient you, is promising to pay through your straw man in the future. Because you can't pay for anything because there's no money, all you can do is discharge. You can't pay because there's no money, because real money is gold and silver, always has been. There's been some other things as well that was real money, but let's just say gold and silver is real money. So you see, when you make a payment, you are issuing a promise to pay in the future. When you sign your mortgage contract, your loan contract, or your credit card contract, you are promising to pay in the future. You're pledging your energy into the future through your straw man. Your straw man is going to, is going to enter into a contract which is basically being underwritten by the energy of you, the, the, the conscious sentient you is underwriting that contract with its energy. And you send it out there and it becomes new currency. What is currency? It's energy, isn't it? Yeah, so that's all you did is you, you pledged some energy through your straw man and went into the system and new credit was created. So you see, everybody here has already created lots of credit. Already. We just didn't realise we were doing it. So if you want to create some more credit to buy a house, buy a car, buy goods and services, fund your lifestyle, rather than going to a bank and saying, well, I want to promise to pay in the future, you use your ability to, to interact with your treasurer, which is the US Department of Treasury. Because the US Department of Treasury is the treasury for the creditors. And everybody here is a creditor. And the IRS is the bookkeeper for the creditors. So they're your bookkeepers. So what you do is you issue a promise to pay in the future to your treasurer. And they convert it into new currency and then you recoup it because you'd abandoned it. And that's how you create new currency. And that new currency is not money. Because there is no money. 
but it's just new credit which you can use through your private trust to go and acquire stuff. So in a nutshell, because you know I like that term, <laughs> try and keep things really simple, difficult, because everything appears complex, but actually everything is quite simple. What you are doing is you're taking a fake system, because the fiat system is fake. It's a fictional system, really. You're taking a fake system. You're, you're recouping what you have already cr uh, uh, created in the past, your securities, your promises to pay from the past. You're creating new promises to pay, and you're converting what is fake into substance. Because, see, through your private trust, you're going to acquire real substance, assets. And your private trust is going to hold those assets. You're not going to own the assets, you're going to control them through your trust. Because you don't want to own anything. You want to control. And your private trust is your family trust. And your family trust will have substance. So you take fake and you create substance. And that substance is real wealth. And you control it. So you see, when you play chess on the same board as those that arrange the system, instead of playing drafts, you use their system to create your wealth and hold it in your private trust. But you don't register it back to the state, you hold it, you control it for all the generations yet to come in your family. And then the next step, after you've done that, the next step is to bring together all of the vendors that are going to provide the goods and services and the products and everything else that the community needs. And now you've stepped out of the matrix into freedom. So you see, this is what's going on. You, at, on the left-hand side, is, you've got the, what is going to come, the, the social score, the central bank digital currency, and we're all playing Monopoly, snakes and ladders, isn't it? Isn't that what's, isn't that what's been going on all the way through? We're all playing Monopoly with a fake money system, and we're, we're on the uh, snakes and ladders board going up and down the snakes and ladders. Yeah? We don't have to be there, we can be on the other side as creditors in our own community. And that one slide says everything to me. <laughs> <laughs>